And we wanted to know what's going on with buses. CBS 46's Bo Beth Yates talking to parents and getting results. Bo Beth is live for us tonight. Bo Beth, good evening to you. Good evening, Jonathan. I'm in front of the Rockdale County School Bus Barn, and parents I spoke to say many of these buses are loading kids to a point where it's just standing room only for the middle school and high school bus schools. Why would a school allow you to stand up on a bus? You couldn't do that last year. That was the shocking question Shamika Burkhalter posed to her daughter after being informed that for the last two weeks, she's been forced to stand up on the bus. My child's safety is number one. She should get home the same way she left. And you can't, you can't tell me that, you know, oh yeah, she's going to return by her standing up because accidents happen. Mm -hmm. So I took, I took offense to that. And she's not the only one dealing with the issue. Turns out several Rockdale County school bus routes are beyond capacity. I caught the transportation and what they're telling me is that legally um, it's okay to have 25% of the students to stand up on the bus. To me, that's kind of dangerous. You know, accidents do happen. Um, and they told me that they didn't know when they would be able to fix the situation. The district denies making the comment, but they did send us a statement that is very similar. Only in temporary situations shall a bus be loaded beyond the seating capacity. No bus shall ever be loaded beyond seating capacity plus 20%. The district says the policy follows state regulations and that they are still monitoring and adjusting routes. In the meantime, parents we spoke to say this situation is unacceptable. Safety comes first when transporting the kids. We are trusting the school system to keep our kids safe when they leave out our care and I expect for that to happen when they leave out the home and that's not happening. So I expect for them to step up. In addition, parents tell me that the students are being directed to sit three to a seat, but they say in many cases that's not possible because this is, you know, bigger kids, middle and high school students. In addition to that, that direction actually goes against the statement the district says. They sent us the statement saying that they strive to only have two students to a seat. Uh, live in Rockdale, Bobeth Yates, CBS 46 News.